Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has appealed to the world to draw a red line for Iran's nuclear program in a dramatic speech at the United Nations. He stated that Iran had amassed enough enriched uranium to build an atomic bomb and voiced concern that Iran may have a bomb ready as early as next year. Addressing the UN General Assembly, Netanyahu appealed to pull back any threat of an imminent Israeli attack on Iranian nuclear facilities. Pakistan's Foreign Minister Ina Rabbani Khar addressed the UN General Assembly in the Asia Society on Thursday. Now, Khar addressed Pakistan and India's ongoing dispute over the Kashmir region, saying that Pakistan is committed to, to upholding the UN resolution and respecting the rights of Kashmiri people. However, she also urged for a separate agreement to be forged between the two countries. NASA's newest Mars rover has found signs that a stream once flowed across the surface near the site where it landed. Curiosity touched down at a crater near the Martian equator last month. The red planet today is dusty and dry, but scientists think that it was once much warmer and wetter. Evidence of an ancient stream came from analyzing the size and shapes of pebbles and gravel near the Gale crater. Mission scientists feel that water was fast moving here and very deep. 31 vehicles rear-ended each other on a highway in Tianjin, North China, on Thursday morning, killing three and injuring many, many more. Police blamed the accident on, a, on heavy fog that suddenly hit the highway between Jiang County and another Xinjiang area in the downtown area and reduced visibility to less than 50 meters. The highway was closed in the morning, but one truck uh, resulted in this accident and a major blockade after that. British bookshops opened their doors early on Thursday for the UK launch of author J.K. Rowling's long-anticipated first book for adults. Rowling, who authored the famous Harry Potter series, is entering new territory with the casual vacancy. The launch of the book was greeted with nearly as much fanfare as Harry Potter as bookshops wheeled out crates of the books precisely at 8 in the morning.